All right, when we go into the next class of saltwater reels, we get into the 8,000, 10,000, and 14,000, which typically share the same body size, deeper cut spools all the way across. For this 8,000, this is a great, I'd say medium heavy duty saltwater reel that I'm gonna match with 40 or 50 pound braided line. Uh, if I'm using mono or floral, I'm gonna run 15 up to 20 pound at maximum on something like this. But here's the crazy thing are the stats on this spinning reel. Yeah, it's got 37 inches of line per handle turn, but this drag on this reel kicks out 62 pounds of drag pressure. 62 pounds and a slow retrieve make it perfect for like butterfly jigging or ground fishing on the bottom or live bait fishing. Anything you're not trying to cast and retrieve, this would be a perfect reel to do that with. It's amazing when you think about it and compare this reel to Italica 12, which kicks out a lot of drag pressure, 42 pounds at the drag curve. This one kicks out 62. That is incredible. And it proves that today's spinning reels really will not limit what you can do or how you can approach fishing or what species you could target or what lures you can chuck around. You just gotta do your research. Go online, look at the models, and compare inches of line per handle turn and drag pressure, and find what's right for you. In that same category, you have the 10,000s. Now, this is a Socorro. Uh, this would be considered to be an entry-level saltwater reel, but really, I've taken this thing down south and done a lot of damage with it, and I've caught sailfish on it, I've caught rooster-fish on it, I bought him fish and live bait fished with it. 10,000 is another great all around size. But you know, there's a difference to be said on the price point of the reel. Typically with reels, much like anything in life, really cars, homes, uh, electronics, the more you pay, the more features you get. Now this being an entry level one, it still does what you need it to, but it doesn't have that extreme drag pressure like the cross carbon drag gives you in the twin power. This reel has 27 pounds of drag pressure, which is quite a bit, and it also brings in 40 inches of line per handle turn. So it's not a twin power, but it's also like a third of the price. So this is a great reel. If you're starting out saltwater fishing, a 10,000 size like this, this is something you wanna match. I love running 40, 50, even 65 pound braid on a 10,000 at max, but 50 seems to be a perfect number. If you're using mono and floral, I wouldn't go higher than 20. When I match it up with rods, again, just like the 8,000, but because it only has 27 pounds of drag pressure, I think medium heavy would be the most I'd go with this size reel. All right, in the last category. Uh, Stella is the flagship reel. It's a 14,000, the one I've got in my hand. They make it 18,000, 20,000, and 30,000. 30,000, I mean, handle what you want with Will. It's an absolute beast. So being our flagship reel, of course, every bell and whistle is available, but uh, the crazy thing about this reel is the fact that it's got 53 inches of line per handle turn. Yes, that's over four feet every handle turn. One turn, 53 inches, and it's got 55 pounds of drag pressure. This is a reel loaded with 50 or 65 pound braid. will handle just about anything you could throw at it. I'm gonna match this reel as a jack of all trades everything saltwater reel from billfish uh, down to rooster fish or ground fishing or snapper fishing or even jigging on the bottom. This reel here can handle it and I'm gonna match it with a medium heavy, heavy or extra heavy rod spinning but saltwater. That's kind of my breakdown of all the saltwater and freshwater spinning reels and how you should be matching them with lines and rods because the worst thing you could do is have an undergunned rod with an overgunned reel or vice versa, an overgunned rod with an undergunned reel because you're not gonna get the enjoyment, you're not gonna get the performance out of it you would expect. In a lot of cases, it's just misleading information that makes fishing more difficult than it needs to be. Hope this one helps. Talk to you guys next time on our next tip.